day and welcome to the news. Catholic members banned from attending Father Mbaka's adoration ministry. Now, the news in details. The Catholic Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Bishop Kalistus Onaga, has imposed a ban on Fa Reverend Father Mbaka's adoration ministry. Daily Post reports that this is coming on the heels of Mbaka's outburst against a presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, of the Labour Party. The priests are declared that Obi, who he described as a stingy man, would never rule Nigeria. This did not go down well with many Nigerians, who demanded that appropriate sanctions should be meted on him. In a letter he personally signed addressed to the, all the clergy, religious and lay faithfuls in the Catholic Diocese of Enugu, Bishop Onaga has now banned them from having anything to do with the Adoration Ministry. He said in the letter that, in the light of the happenings in the Catholic Adoration Ministry Chaplaincy Enugu, capable of undermining the Catholic faith and teachings, and after several fraternal corrections and admonitions to Father Camillus H.K. Mbaka, the chaplain of the ministry, and after having given him pastoral directives and guidelines for the ministry chaplaincy, which he persistently violated, and in fulfillment of my pastoral duties as the chief shepherd, with the obligation to promote and safeguard the Catholic faith and morals in Enugu Diocese, I hereby prohibit all Catholics, clergy, religious, and lay faithfuls, and thought from attending all religious and liturgical activities of the Catholic Adoration Ministry until the due canonical process initiated by the diocese is concluded. My decision is based on the fact that some of the teachings and utterances of Father Camillus H.K. Mbaka at the Catholic Adoration Ministry are not consistent with the teachings and faith of the Catholic Church. Bishop Onaga enjoined all Catholic faithfuls to keep praying for Father Mbaka. Daily Post reports that this is not the first time Father Mbaka is facing sections in recent times. The diocesan authority had last year, after placing his activities on hold for a month, also converted the adoration ministry to chaplaincy. It was then asked to keep off politics, but it quickly maintained that no one could stop him from speaking. Those who think Umbaka will be quiet, you are wasting your time, he had said last year in reaction to the ban placed on him for commenting on political activities. As we know, the um, Catholic Diocese of Enugu has now placed a ban on Reverend Father Camillus H.K. Umbaka's adoration ministry after his viral statement about um, the Labour Party's presidential flag bearer, um, Mr. Peter Obi. Now, um, Father Mbaka said that Peter, called Peter Obi a stingy man, saying that he would never rule Nigerians, Nigeria, and this caused a lot of outbursts and stir and fury on social media and also in the Catholic church with a lot of people saying that a reverend father isn't supposed to be saying that or even if a reverend father isn't supposed to be saying that he isn't even supposed to be commenting about politics and um although he tendered an apology but he also stated that the apology he tendered was just because those higher above him told him to do so and not because he actually um wanted to do so and he also said that his statement about Peter Obi being a stingy man wasn't to steer away um Nigerians or make them decide on another candidate. I wasn't just doing that to actually stain the image of Peter Obi that it wasn't that wasn't his aim with the statement he made that I was just making a comment about 
someone he had an encounter with who is now running for presidency of Nigeria come 2023. And like the statement, we all know that this isn't Father's, Father Umbaka's first um, media um Ulabau, like this isn't the first media problem. He has been a Reverend Father that has been very controversial, coming out to always talk about politics. And like we all know that this isn't his first time getting a ban placed on him. But like he always says that no one will stop him. And he has said before that those who think Umbaka will be quiet, you are wasting your time. And with the recent ban placed upon him, this has actually led to a lot of reactions from people online and we're going to be reading that we have someone by the name royal saying thank you jesus thank you father lord ubo okonkwo anthony saying whoever whatever a man sows that he must reap how i wish catholic could work like the early apostolic church the holy spirit should have been directing like paul said martin's uncomo says I'm still yet to understand this man called Peter Obi, his humility and calmness, even when some shameless people insult him. Most people don't know that Peter Obi has a blood brother who is a Catholic reverend father. Most people don't know that Peter Obi has a sister who is a Catholic reverend mother. Most people don't know that Peter Obi is a member of the trustee of, of the trustees that handle the Pope Francis, our vicar worldwide. And yet, this man is so humble. Mr. Umbaka might be jealous and envious of Peter Obi, who knows the art of men, desperately wicked. What a shame. And um, this person going by the name Abum Oyebo saying, It's a shame to Umbaka and wonder what, what he's up to. So we can see that a lot of people are in support of Father Umbaka's statement. And this just goes to show that a lot of clergy men and um, religious leaders aren't actually supposed to actively participate or have opinions when it comes to um, politics. This is due to the fact that they have huge followings, followers and um, they can easily steer the minds of their followers and congregation. And even after Fadan Baka did this, he actually didn't assume or think he did anything wrong but was still defensive and now it has led to a ban placed upon him and his ministry so i would love to hear what you my able listeners think about this what's your thoughts what's your views what are your opinions about this matter don't forget to engage us in the comment section and we'll be there reading your comments also don't forget to like share and subscribe to our new channel that will be it from us today, guys. Thank you and God bless.